Hey guys, this is Young Tech Boy One, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use formulas, formulas, said formulas, formulas in uh, Excel 2000, and yeah, I think 2010. Yes, it's 2010. I'm pretty sure of that. So using formulas are aren't really that hard, and it's really simple. But most people just don't know how to do it. So pretty much what it is is uh, you j you could just choose from like any amount so like here's like something like right up over here is something that a whole bunch of people use so hold on you just like uh of course you haven't really used any if you just playing around with this but uh right here is like most like the I guess the basic functions instead of going through all this but let me just show you how they work so it's real easy so I'm gonna do a sum and I'm the old-fashioned way so I like to type it in myself when you once you put in that equal sign and then a, that's the capital letter or sum you can see that you won't that you won't be able to do anything else oops sum and then uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, this so you know what? Let me just do it like this. So P and X T O T. Yeah. So here we go. I found something that was let's say twenty dollars, and tax is a dollar and eighty nine cents. Well, I'm gonna do some more realistic, more realistic. Nineteen eighty nine. In Texas, a dollar eighty-nine, and you want to find the total, and you're just too lazy to try and calculate up. This is good if you have like a whole bunch of big numbers. So what you would want to do is go up over to formulas, formulas, and go up over to I guess auto sum, or you could go up over to math and scroll all the way down. I mean, it's set the same way. I see where I'm sum is right there, and then. Just drag this over to the side. Here we go. And click on the first one, B5. And then the next one for me, I think, will be C5. Yep. And then there you go. And it could change. So, like, uh, yeah. So that's the sum right there. Put sum. Then the next one, I'm going to use a. I'm just going to do like go down the list to show you guys average pretty much adding thing everything up a g e so uh four c o c o s t four c o s t five so i have i guess five costs in one is twenty dollars. One is two dollars. No, one is ten dollars. One is five dollars. A dollar and a hundred. And then, so to do average, like I'm the old-fashioned way. But if you don't know it, you really want to just go through here and use it. But since I'm the old-fashioned way, I'm gonna just type it in. But for you guys, I guess I'll just do average. Just click on it. And what it's saying right now, when you have when you see that little sign, it means from B8 all the way down through there. But when you just wanted to do a single one, you just put type in a comma. And it'll just, as you see, just select those two. But when you have it, when you have it with a semicolon, it means throughout. So yes, that is what I want. Enter. So the average is 27. Assuming that it's dollars, twenty-seven dollars and two cents—not two cents, but twenty cents. Next one. Uh, count numbers. You really won't need that. Max. What this does is it just says the maximum that you can have. So maximum of five, pretty much. You really won't have any use for that. I'm just saying. But let me just show you guys how to do it. 
and how to type it out the old way when you get like real good at this if you get real good at this and you use power if you if you use spreadsheets a lot you want to be familiar with this so sums s u m so I'm gonna do a sum again so if I have five hundred I'm just just typing in random numbers this way y'all know I'm not doing this up in my head okay so and I want to know the total up here total here we go and um, like I said I'm old-fashioned so I type in that equal sign and I type in sum so what you want to do is once you type in that equal sign then it knows it's a function so equal sign sum s u m sum and then space in parentheses and then you type in the number so that one is C12 C12 let me make that capitalize C12 through C I think 33 C 33 so there it is that's the total and then I can also find the average GE and it's pretty much the same thing equal sign A V E R A G E average space and then in parentheses C12, C12, semicolon, C33. So, it sometimes says it, but it, there isn't. So, that is the average, 201,000, which makes, I guess, sense. Yeah, considering I put in one that was 4 million, yes, that does make sense. And you could like experiment with it every time when you change it, it'll change this as you can see. So, this is a good way to use it. Uh, like, all of these are really like, unless you're actually using it. I mean, I'm not using any of, the, any of these really in my normal spreadsheets that I use, and I barely make spreadsheets. So, I have an idea of what they're doing. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I think that's pretty much all. Let me just show you guys mine. Sorry about the background noise. My dad's loud in my mouth. Mm. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let me see if I can find it. Cedars four. Here we go. This was my business idea, and y'all see this, I guess, pretty soon, I guess. But so I have quality quantity uh quantity yeah quality quantity and then the rate so if you have 200 sorry right, so if i have 200 at the rate of four cents then i could type that in and they would give it to me from the sub the subtotal oh it's broken hold on yeah, B. It says product of times that, times that, times that. I don't know if it's me or am I just tweaking. Maybe I, I'll try it. Yeah. I guess I broke it. Or maybe it's because it's 25. Yeah, I. That makes sense. A lot more sense. That's just because it's 25. So shouldn't it work with three? Maybe that one's is broke. Oh no no no! Because it's times four. All right. So and then it gives me the the uh, total. And as you see, it says the sum of. I don't know why I put it like this. And I could have put all the way up to e16 semicolon. Here we go. And oops, C 
the E16. Yeah, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Well, I'm back. <laughs> so, like I said, uh, it gets the total price and gets some of them there and from here. Then I had the grand total, but I don't know why it isn't working. P takes from P. Oh well, you know I ain't even worrying about that right now. But yes, you, you I, I think you guys get my point. What I mean about uh the functions formulas formulas sorry. So it's pretty easy once you learn to do it. Uh, I hope this video helped you out with it, whatever you are doing or just informed you. It's good to learn something new every day. Please like, please subscribe, and uh yeah, have a nice day.